Welcome back, boys and girls, to our grade four Go Math lesson. We will continue with unit one, place value, addition and subtraction to one million. This is lesson 1.6, add whole numbers. All right, boys and girls, let's begin. Lesson 1.6, add whole numbers. Our essential question is, how can you add whole numbers? Unlock the problem. Alaska is the largest state in the United States by area. Its land area is 570,374 square miles, and its water surface is 86,051 square miles. Find the total area of Alaska. Over here it says, underline what you are asked to find, circle the information you will use. Well, I'm being asked to find the total area of Alaska. I'm going to use the 570,374 and the 86,051 square miles. That's what I'm going to use. All right. Find the sum. You're going to add 570,374 plus 86,051. It is important to line up the add-ends by place value when adding two numbers. Add, uh, line up the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousands, the hundred thousands. Make sure those are lined up. Step one, add the ones, four ones, plus one one is five ones. Add the tens and regroup. Seven tens plus five tens is twelve tens or 120. So we'll leave the two here, two tens, and we'll put the hundred over here and regroup. <coughs> I'm sorry, boys and girls. So now, it says, step two, add the hundreds, add the thousands. All right, we regroup that 100. So 100 plus 300 is 400. Zero thousands plus six thousands is six thousands. Now it says, add the ten thousands. Seventy thousand plus eighty thousand is a hundred and fifty thousand so I'll leave the fifty thousand here the five and regroup the hundred thousand do you see what I did now it says to add the hundred thousands one hundred thousand plus five hundred thousand is six hundred thousand so the total area of Alaska is 656,425 square miles. All right, it says you can estimate to tell whether an answer is reasonable. To estimate a sum, round each add-in before you add. Estimate the sum. It says, Juno has an area of 2,717 square miles and Valdez has an area of 222 square miles. What is the combined area? Well, it says estimate use in the grid to help you align the add-ins by place value. So we put 2,717, that can round to 3,000, and we lined up 222, and that can round to 200 because 2,700 uh, is closer to 3,000 than it is 2,000, and 222 is closer to 200 than it is 300. So the combined area of um, Juno and Valdez is about 3,200 miles, square miles. Now it says to find the sum. We're going to line them up. 2,717 plus 222. Seven plus 2 is 9, 10 plus 20 is 30, 700 plus 200 is 900, 2,000 plus nothing is 2,000. So the combined area of Juno and, Val and Valdez is 2,939 square miles. And it says, is the sum reasonable? Is this sum 
reasonable? We estimated it to be this. Is this reasonable? And yes, it is. It's because 2,939 is close to 3,200, 3,200. So now it says use the grid to find 738,901 plus 162,389. Look at how we did this. Everything is lined up perfectly. And we added our ones. 1 plus 9 is 10. I regrouped the 10. 10 plus, 10 plus 80 is 90. I'm in the hundreds now. 900 plus 300 is 1,200. So I put the 2 in the 1,200 here, and I put the 1,000 over here. 8,000 plus 1,000 is 9,000, plus 2,000 is 11,000. The 1 here, and I put the 10,000 over here. 10,000 plus 30,000 is 40,000, plus 60,000 is 100,000. My 0 goes here, and my 100,000 goes here. 100,000 plus 700,000 is 800,000, plus 100,000 is 900,000. All right, now, boys and girls, I'm going to tell you something. If you want to do it a different way and say 1 plus 9 is 0, or I'm sorry, 1 plus 9 is 10, carry the 1, 1 plus 8 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, carry the 1, 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 2 is 11, carry the 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 6 is 10, carry the 1. Uh, 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. You can do that. I just know as a teacher and the way that this new math is being taught, they want you to understand that this 1 here represents 100,000 and not one. Okay, boys and girls, it's now time for you to practice. I'm going to ask you to stop the video. I'm going to ask you to do this page on your own. When you have finished with it, go to the next slide and check your answers. If you got anything wrong and you don't understand what you did wrong, ask an adult or contact me and um, I will set up a time for you um, for us to to go over it so pause the video and work on this sheet and when you get finished start the video again and check your answers All right, boys and girls here are your answers and you can see what I did is I did my estimates over here okay you got my estimates did my addition how did you do was this hard right here boys and girls the commutative and associative of properties right here told you the difference between the commutative property and the associative property and I know that you learned that in third grade I hope you remembered All right, here is your next page that I want you to do um, I want you to do it on your own you will stop the video work it out restart the video check your answers if you got anything wrong and you don't understand why you got it wrong you need to ask an adult at home or you need to contact me and we will set up a time to go over it okay boys and girls here are your answers how did you do did you do well I hope you did again if there's something you don't understand contact me my class contact me we will set up a time to go over the problems um, individually okay here's your practice and homework lesson 1.6 you have page 41 and 42 to do independently on your own when you have finished with it take a snapshot of this page send it to me I will grade it remember this goes in the grade book here is the last page for 1.6 make sure that you think about what you're doing make sure that you write your answers out
All right. Take a snapshot of this page when you're finished. Send it to me. I'll grade it. If you are missing a lot of problems, um, we're going to need to have a meeting and talk about what you're doing wrong. All right, boys and girls, this is the end of Lesson 1.6. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Awesome Possum Classroom 451. If you like these worksheets, email me at awesomepossumclassroom at gmail.com. I will send you the link. Bye-bye, and I'll see you tomorrow.